it's an interesting question. He says, will the wire devote as much space to uh, Kamlesh Tiwari hmm. as it does to Akhlaq? And I'd like to answer this question. It's an interesting, for those of you who don't know, uh, Akhlaq was the uh, gentleman who was murdered uh, over um, suspicions that he had, he had consumed beef. Uh, and this happened um, in Dadri, not far from Delhi. And Kamlesh Tiwari was the leader of a, um, a kind of fringe Hindutva group who was murdered in Lucknow in 2019. And uh, I would say that it's interesting to look at the similarities and differences between the two cases. Uh, in the case of Aklak, Aklak was murdered. There was widespread condemnation by civil society. But the Prime Minister of India, the Chief Minister of, uh, of I think it was Akhilesh was the Chief Minister then, uh, uh, yes, uh, but, right. but, but the Prime Minister of India, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Modi was the, uh, I think Akhlaq was, I think yeah. Akhilesh was CM, and uh, possibly, I don't think Yogi had come to part at that point, but, but Narendra Modi as Prime Minister of India, this was a major incident which happened. Uh, and uh, of course, there was no expressions of sympathy from the Prime Minister or from the BJP, even though the people who killed Akhlaq had uh, a clear ideological affinity to the kind of political agenda of the ruling party. Uh, in fact, uh, a police case was filed against Akhlaq's family and an attempt was made to somehow justify the killing of Akhlaq. And, uh, uh, you know, some of the Killers of Aklaq or the alleged killers when they were arrested and, and uh, sent to jail and one of them died because of dengue. Uh, you had senior BJP leaders attending the funeral of one of these uh, alleged killers and a, an attempt was made to drape his coffin in the flag of India. So this is the Aklaq case and the way in which the quest for justice uh, was handled by the Bharti Janata Party. Compare this to now, nobody from Aklaq's family uh, followed up, you know, his killing with demands for violence against, uh, against uh, uh, you know, Gorakshaks or against Hindus in general. But when Kamlesh Tiwari was killed, uh, and I'm not even going into what was the stated, because I think whatever the supposed provocation, it is completely unacceptable for, uh, you know, people say that he... Uh, uh, made comments about the prophet, etc. I'm sorry, you cannot take the law into your own hands. The killing of Kamlesh Tiwari was as unjustified as the killing of Aklaq. Uh, so let's get that off uh, out of the way. But when, Akla when Kamlesh Tiwari was killed, you had the Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister immediately issuing statements of support and solidarity with the family, as he should have. Uh, and you had uh, the police swinging into action. I believe the, they, they are now saying that the case is solved. And you had Hindutva extremists. And I'm mentioning this because one of these persons, Yati Narsingh Anand, appears in Lucknow and uses the killing of Kamlesh Tiwari in order to, he gives a call for violence against Muslims in general. So if anybody wants to compare these two cases, Aklaq and Kamlesh Tiwari, it's not just that we should be involved in demanding justice for both, which we are. It's not just that we should condemn the killing of both, which we, we should and we do, but we should be very clear that in one case, an attempt was made to frame the family of Aklaq and get them you know, and malign them and, and, and show as if somehow they were responsible for this crime. And in the case of, uh, of uh, Kamlesh Tiwari, some of these so-called supporters of Kamlesh Tiwari were using his death as a pretext to encourage violence against other Indians and Muslims in particular. So I think that let's be very clear as to what it is that we're talking about here. And, uh, you know, I have no problem whatsoever in, uh, in devoting editorial space to the quest for justice for Akhlaq or Kamlesh, but we need to be immediate to understand uh, what some of these key differences and similarities are between the